Hey guys, what's going on? And thanks for tuning into Legatum Gaming, where today everybody knows what day it is today. It is the state of the game update day. Alright, so it is the 30th of November 2017. So as normal, what I will do is I will simplify the 35 minute stream to hopefully around the 5 minute mark. Now, there is a lot of news today, so hopefully I should try and make it as sweet and simple as easier and quicker to give you guys the right information you need. Alright, so let's get into it. Now, as promised, the release of 1.8 is now confirmed, so it will be next week. Now, they did say, um, actually, a couple weeks ago, it would be early December, so actually great news, they stuck with that and stuck to their word. Now, unfortunately, they didn't give a specific date, however, if I was a betting man, I'd go for Tuesday. Now, you know, it's not confirmed, um, the specific date, however, they did say kind of early part of the week, and they are going to have a state of the game by next Thursday, just talk about the release so if you kind of put two and two together i'll take my chances and go for tuesday now they will actually confirm the release date which um they're going to confirm the release date on monday the 4th of december which is uh next week so we will know for definite however i would guess at tuesday now in addition um the following week after it releases they will then launch the new global event so again we all know once the global event is launched there will be new pieces of classified gear which i did mention a couple of weeks ago on the state of the game of what they they were so if you're unsure then you know go ahead and just do check them out now they did mention before um, however the exotics will receive a buff so just to confirm th mostly the state of the game was talking about 1.8 and a lot of it was um, that they did speak about was actually mentioned or has been mentioned in the previous state of the games so um, let's just go ahead and let's kind of cover off what I think you guys might want to know so the exotics will receive a buff. Now, kind of the story behind this is kind of as the game's evolved and the play styles of players have changed and that some of the talents on the weapons have actually become obsolete. So they're actually now increasing the base damage compared to their non-rival exotics. So if I'm going to give you guys an example, um, I'm going to use the Showstopper for the exotics. It will have a higher base damage than compared to, let's say, the M870 shotgun. So hopefully um, they're trying to make the exotics more playable, although they don't want to make it so, for example, you have to have an exotic to kind of kill people or, uh, you know, kill NPCs or something like that. It's just to give you a little more option because let's be honest, nobody really runs with exotics. Now, some other bits is, you know, they spent about 10 minutes. They pulled up a graph um, all related to deaths in the dark zone. Now, in a nutshell, rather than you guys watching that, basically it's saying we have 75% of the deaths in the dark zone are caused by PvP, whilst the other 25% is caused from PvE. Now, you know, going forward, what they want and what they're saying is actually we as a community have asked for more of a 50-50 split. Um, so I'd imagine in the not-too-distant future that there will be some more changes to the Dark Zone coming, although they didn't specifically mention what it was, I thought it's something that's definitely going to happen. They believe that the toggle of the Rogue Timer will add or at least contribute um, to increasing it to more of a 50-50% split due to um, kind of the non-Rogue players actually knowing when the Rogues will actually in fact be going Rogue, therefore giving you a little better time to prepare for the fight. Now, they briefly mentioned the turn speed will be slightly altered uh, and mirrored what it was in the PTS. So for those people who do have the PTS, or at least did have the PTS, the turn styles in terms of your player and your uh, playability when you turn will mirror that. And they're going to launch that in 1.8. Now, again, another factor which was spoken before, however, to, to confirm, when you're doing PvE with any named boss across the game, so whatever this is, you know, Dark Zone, Underground, um, whatever this is, they have the chance to drop classified gear. Now, in addition, you can receive classified caches for certain levels you uh, kind of get higher. So, for example, if I'm going to use Last Stand, um, the max level you used to be was 40. However, they're now introducing a classified cache reward system. So, for example, if you were level 40, you'd get a cache. Level 45, you'd get a cache. Level 50, you'd get a cache. Now, this, these are all um, classified caches. Excuse me. Um, and then this is also when you play Resistance, you can earn Shade Tech by killing enemies. Now, um, you know, Shade Tech, we're all aware of what this is. Um, 
so you kind of use these to use um, fortifications, or you can kind of turn on turrets, or, you know, do whatever this is. Now, if you save these, um, they're actually allowing you to open crates. Now, the crates they quoted will be costly, so I can't, I can't kind of quote to you what they will cost. However, once you open them, these will also contain classified. Now, they're doing this just to make it a slight bit easier to obtain classified gear once they're all released into circulation. Now, I'm sure most people have seen Marco's video in terms of the percents you're going to get dropped. So, for example, once all classified gear is in circulation, you know, the drop rate in terms of getting the gear or the spe specific, sorry, gear you want will kind of end up being like 0.001%. So, they're actually allowing us to get classified just a tad easier, um, just so we don't kind of have that forever grind. Now, the last point is they will be releasing a patch to support Xbox One X. Again, you know, have spoke about this before. However, they haven't gave a specific date. So if you are an Xbox One X player, they do know about you and they are working on a patch to resolve some issues. All right, guys, so that does wrap up and recap the state of the game for today. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Or if you did want more Division content, such as the vendor resets, and of course, more um, state of the game updates, then do consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, I hope people are excited for 1.8. You know, I certainly am. It's going to make me want to come back into it a little more, want to make me get them builds on the go, going to make me want to stream again. So, you know, hopefully if you guys do want to see that, then do consider hitting the subscribe button. One very last point, if you did want to check us out on social media, then of course, twitter.com forward slash Legatum Gaming and facebook.com forward slash Legatum Gaming. Now, I will leave the links in the description below for the social media along with the original State of the Game stream. And as always, if you did want to suck out and watch that 35-minute stream, go ahead. Nonetheless, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching.